Hello everyone and welcome to my channel and to another video for beginners. This one is a, a quite basic video about soft pastels and how to use them in the books. Uh, soft pastels are another name for chalks and uh, I have this very messy one from the time when I was scrapbooking. I probably have uh, dropped it onto the floor too many times, so it's very broken. But you can still still use it, although this uh, is not the this is also broken. Uh, <laughs> this one as well. I need to throw them away. Yeah, but they can come like this. And uh, as you can see, they almost look like eye shadows. Uh, they are very dusty. Uh, and you can actually use eye shadows as well. Uh, I bought a set with cheap eye shadows with sparkle. I don't know if you can see, but they are quite sparkly. But the sparkle don't show up that much on the pages. Someone said, told me that it was they are made for reacting with the oil in the skin so on skin they will shine but not on not so much on the pages. But you can use eyeshadows or powder. Uh, I also have a cheap set called Mango, Mango Pastels 64 colors uh, this is another form they come in, soft pastels, like chalk bars. I think these are half bars. Uh, soft pastels last very long. I have had these for several years and they no one of the colors. I think this is one maybe I have used most. I still have a lot in this one. Still have a lot of uh, color to use. And uh, when you touch it, you're going to get color on your hand. Uh, so it can be good to have uh, some kind of wet towel or tissue next to you so you can clean your hand or just go to the bathroom and clean after. Uh, and to have some protection paper under what you are doing because it is messy. They also come as pencils. Uh, I have one set. Conte 12 crayons pastel, pastel pencils. Uh, I have not used them very much and I'm going to show you why in a while. But I wanted to try them so I bought a little set. A small set. Soft pastels are great for doing backgrounds. I would say that they maybe are the easiest way to start doing backgrounds in coloring books. And uh, you will need something to blend it out with. I use my finger a lot, uh, which of course is very messy. Uh, but you can also use like cotton things uh, like this or some, some of these or other kind of cotton or uh, some makeup things like maybe a brush would work or a sponge. You can try for yourself and see what's working and I know that uh, Pan Pastel which is uh, quite expensive but good really good soft pastel they, they also sell tools for blending. I don't have a pan pastel and I don't have any tools uh, but yeah this work quite good as well although I guess the more expensive um, ones have a lot of more pigment because these are quite light. So these uh, crayons I guess they are quite like the ones uh, they had in my school when I was a kid when, they, when the teacher was writing on the blackboard 
uh, you can use them directly on the page if you want to but it can be a little diff difficult to blend out the lines then they got stuck as you can see so a good way is to use some kind of hobby knife and to scrape off some color on the page and then blend it out and now I'm going to use my finger but you can take something else and then you get a soft you get a soft pastel to stick into the paper and you can add more on top if you want a darker color or more intense color and let's see I'm gonna find a much darker one much darker as you can see and maybe some I think I need to clean myself before going to a lighter color and then maybe you want some yellow on top And uh, a good thing if you are using soft pastels for a background is to start with the background because of course you can try to be careful you can instead of doing it scrape the, the pigment off directly on the paper you can scrape it off before on a plate or another paper or something and take color from that onto the page uh, and and you can also I mean use one of these and try to go around the picture the, the line art without going inside the lines but it's difficult so most likely you will get color on top of your picture where you don't want it and then it's good to have a good eraser uh, which I have but can't find Do -do -do -do. it's easiest to do that with my battery uh, battery eraser but of course I can't find that right now so I will have to rely on my regular eraser because one thing about with soft pastels is they are quite easy to erase And when you use the, the eyeshadow or chalks, uh, it's the same. Uh, I can use the. You use some kind of tool or your finger and add. Add it onto your page. I wanted one. I guess you can use a brush to take away the color that has not stuck into the paper. Uh, so you can also use it for the line art. And And maybe it's easier then to use pastel pencils for small areas at least. Uh, they have they are made of the same chalky thing, but in a pencil form. Maybe it's different between different brands, but how scrapey they are but I think all brands are a bit scrapey and I don't like the sound of them on the paper uh, and you can also 
Uh, if you have pencils, you can also scrape it off on the page if you want to with a knife. Just as you did with the other. Another thing you can do is that if you have done the first layer, a base layer of soft pastels, uh, you can go on top with regular pencils. This is Pablo for adding more colors and more shadings and gradients. And you can do it on top, directly on top of the soft pastels, which I'm doing here. Or you can spray it first with the fixative and then color on top of the fixative with the pencils. Uh, the fixative will change the surface of the paper a bit, but uh, it will work. And because it's so easy to erase the soft pastels, you also can do patterns in it after with your eraser. You can do dots, and this would be e even more easy if I had my battery one, my battery eraser here. I wonder where it is. So you can do, no, I, I don't know, can you see? I did so, so dots, but you can do whatever you like. And I know, know people that uh, use soft pastels with stencils for the backgrounds. I have not tried that yet, but that is also something you can do. On this uh, picture in the Benny Blue Grayscale coloring book, I did the background. It's very soft and it's with soft pastels. And uh, I'm just going to show you. Uh, you have to spray them or it's good to spray them after with a fixative. I have some here that I found in the uh, store. Uh, I usually shake it and because the smell, it's good to be somewhere where the... Oh, could you hear that? It's a bird, a spring bird. Uh, yeah, it's good with good circul circulation in the room that you are in. So mostly I'm in our outdoor room and uh, it's, I think it says that it should spray it from like 20 centimeter. And then you can let it dry and do some more. One more layer. Oh no, I have to go away. The smell disappears quite fast. Uh, but it's there and you <laughs> you can also use hairspray but I think that smell is stuck to the paper much longer at least my hairspray was so I prefer this it goes away more quickly the smell and if you don't have a fixative or hairspray uh, at least put a protection sheet on the page before closing it so it will not mess up the other page so thank you so much for watching this video i hope you liked it see you in next video and goodbye